everyone for joining us for our craft club. The project I'm going to show you how to make today is a really simple little scrubby, which you can use on your countertops to get them clean, or you can use it as a dish scrubby as well. Um, so this is made with uh, old socks, and we're going to learn a really simple weaving trick to make these guys. So you're going to need two socks if you want these to be two different colors woven together or you can use just one sock as well and it will all be the same color. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my socks and I've already started cutting these, so I'm gonna continue cutting these guys. And these can be socks that either have a hole or rip in them or you can't find the match any longer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically cut them into little tube shapes. So I'm gonna drop down three quarters of an inch to an inch and just create five little tubes from each sock. I'm kind of uh, skipping over the heel part here just so I get a nice even tube. All right. So I've got five of these made from one of my socks. I'm going to keep doing it on my other one. Again, I'm skipping over that heel. Alright, so I should have 10 total strips of my sock all cut up. One of the easiest ways to do this is just to use clothespins and a simple box. But if you have some scrap wood and nails at your house, you could also use scrap wood and nails. This is just a little bit quicker and easier. So all I'm going to do is clip my clothespins around the outside of a box. And this is a 4 inch square box. I'm going to do 5 on each side which means I'll need a total of 20 clothespins. And I've got them kind of evenly spaced here, approximately. I'll do that on every side. It's like we're building a little fortress, a little castle. all spaced out around the outside of my box. I'm going to grab one of my sock tube selections, all five of them, and I'm just going to go from one side to the opposite side and drop those on. And I'm going to keep doing that for all of the ones that go front to back. So I'll keep going, adding my tubes from front to back all the way across one side. And now I'm ready to add my tubes that go in the opposite direction. And for these, we're going to do a little bit of a weaving trick. So I'm going to drop onto this clothespin. I'm going to go underneath this first one here, over the second tube, underneath the third tube, over the top of the fourth tube and then underneath this last tube. And then I'll wrap it around my clothespin here. And now I'm going to add my second tube and I'm going to do the same thing but I just need to keep in mind that I need it to be opposite of what the tube that I just did. Since weaving is kind of a over under over under, it's going to get strength by doing the opposite of what it of what the tube next to it did. So since I started by going underneath this tube, I'm going to start by going on top of this tube now. So hooking onto the second clothespin, I'm going to go on top of the first one and then underneath the second one and I just kind of pull that up on top of the third one 
underneath the fourth one and then on top of the fifth one and then just go ahead and hook it onto the clothespin there keep going third tube again I look at the one next to it and so since I started on top of this one I'm going to start underneath this one so I hook it onto the clothespin and I go underneath this tube give it a tug on top grab it go on top again and then underneath and then I'm just grabbing from underneath here and hooking it onto my clothespin so we're starting to get a little bit of a weaving pattern going on I'm gonna kind of cinch it up on the side and adjust my clothespins that I've knocked out of place I've got two more rows to do over, under, over, under, and then over again. Kind of cinch those in and make space for my last one. On this one, I'm going to start by going underneath. Pull that nice and tight. Over, under. Over, and then under again. So now I've got my woven pattern all gridded out here. I'm gonna start at one of the sides and I'm gonna unclip two of them. And in order to get these to stay together, I'm gonna take my leftmost loop, and I'm gonna loop it over this one and then hold this one in my hand. And I'm gonna keep repeating that pattern all the way across. So I'll pull off the next clothespin, take this one and wrap it over the next one and then give that a tug. I'll unclip the next clothespin, loop this loop over the outside of this one and then pull this guy. Do that again. Loop this over and pull this. I'm going to keep doing that even when I switch corners here. When I get to the very last one, I'm going to do the same thing. Loop this one around my last loop and then just give this one a nice big tug. And then you can actually use that little part as a hanger if you want to hang this next to your sink to dry off. And now I've got some little scrubbies that I can use to help clean my kitchen.